come to you today uh, for a very special video. Uh, it's sort of out of the ordinary video. Um, an acquaintance of mine, an internet acquaintance in the Czech Republic named Lukas Lucienski, I think. Uh, Lucesk, I, I can't pronounce his last name. I'm very sorry. Um, but it'll be printed elsewhere here. Um, he's the publisher, he's the editor and uh, publisher of uh, the Golden Book of Wisdom, among other things. He's very involved in the uh, Czech Bardenist community. Um, people who are very sincere Bardenists, um, uh, some of the finest Bardenists uh, in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Um, at any rate, we were talking, and he makes and sells magic mirrors, uh, a la Franz Barden, basically, a similar uh, makeup construction to what Franz Barden described in Initiation into Hermetics. Um, but he's come to these mirrors, the making of these mirrors, after years of research, which, man, I can relate to totally, because that's how I've developed my tools using crystals by just years of personal research and experimentation and perfection through experimentation. And this is what Lucas has done in the development of his mirrors. And he has a whole series of mirrors. So he asked me if I would basically review his mirrors to help promote them a little bit and, you know, increase sales of his mirrors. I said, sure, you know, and so he decided to uh, send me one of his mirrors, an astral theurgical mirror, and for me to experiment with and experience what his mirrors are like. And so I have just had my first experience with this beautiful, wonderful, excellent magic mirror that he has constructed. I mean, it's his his technique is really truly amazing. It is truly a functional magical mirror. Um, the one that he sent me is theurgical, which means um, astral theurgical, which means that it, it's designed um, to access the the higher realms. Um, the beings of the higher realms, etc., or just the higher realms themselves. It functions as like a television screen, um, but it can also be a doorway. And it, it, it functions perfectly in both of those areas, based on my personal experience just now. So I'm not going to show you my mirror, because it has been sanctified, etc. Um, so it is my mirror not for anybody else to to see, but it comes in this wonderful little box. And the mirror is cushioned in the box. So, my first experiment, um, what I wanted to do was um, converse face-to-face, -face, as it were, um, with my uh, greater self, Suantha. And a few of Suantha's incarnations that I'm aware of, who in the past have been teachers of mine, and are elevated enough beings to... Um, To be, they are higher sphere beings, basically. Um, so I wanted to, you know, experience this communication with them in a totally different way than I'm used to. I'm, you know, n no stranger to 
conversing with them internally with my just my awareness but this presents a whole new platform for communication that's really lovely and this is something that I've never succeeded in doing with my own magic mirror which is really rudimentary in comparison with what Lucas has created. Lucas's magic mirror is it's very scientific really it's a precise recipe basically that he has discovered through years of experimentation so I cast my magical circle um, here in my living room in front of my table that I set my mirror on etc um, sitting in this very chair um, so I cast my circle uh, now I work with uh, TMO and the auto nylite and the Catholic brilliance so I wasn't going to change my method of working um, inordinately let's put it that way so uh, I did a, um, a session of TMO in which I stated my intention and sent the uh, Adonai light out and had it come back to my circle so my circle was filled with my empowered intention let's put it that way and um, then I filled the, the circle with uh, Catholic brilliance which is what I do um, and then I um, unwrapped the mirror and did a sanctification ceremony now Lucas sends a set of instructions with each mirror and so I followed his uh, uh, recipe as it were for the sanctification of the mirror because I it felt like it was a key that unlocks the powers of the mirror and so I wanted to use his key instead of my key let's put it that way so I did his little ritual of sanctification and that was really lovely and it it clearly had an effect on on the mirror um, then I filled the mirror with Catholic brilliance and uh, it just shone it just shone when I when I fill my own mirror with the Catholic brilliance it sends up a huge shaft of Catholic brilliance like a, a, a searchlight beacon um, this was different um, it pretty much just filled an area it wasn't a shaft it was filling a larger area with the Catholic brilliance which was really nice so then I internally went to uh, my uh, um, greater self to Suantha and presented myself and and spoke to Suantha and to the uh, aspects of Suantha that I wanted personally to speak with and uh, told them you know what I wanted them to come and manifest here in this mirror for me and you know I, had, I felt them descending with me into the room into the mirror then I opened my eyes and I looked at the mirror and it was just as he described the sort of a mist on the surface of the mirror and the mirror became like a bowl filled with this mist almost fluid you know almost liquid mist it was really lovely and there was Soantha there were these aspects that I wanted to meet and it was whoa so immediate so present you know I had never experienced something like that before with a, a magic mirror such um, an immediate presence I had no other way to express it uh, you know very much like seeing their faces in the mirror and 
went into this conversation with them and it was really lovely it's so such familiarity but they're each a different distinct aspect uh, of soantha and um assets that i have access to you know they're a part of me um but they're not it's hard to describe of course um and uh, i asked for their help basically in uh, uh, a project that I'm developing, let's put it that way. Something that I am working on, have been working on for years, and am trying to come to a place where I can truly write about it and speak about it. And I've begun to a little bit. Um, and... Uh, they were right there with me. It's like, okay, let's do this. And they've already, just in this short experience, been immensely helpful, given me the next step that I need to take in this venture. Um, well, you know, I, I, I'm just really blown away, not only by my experience, but by this magic mirror and how readily and perfectly it works it functions it's and it's cheap you know at the price and i understand uh, making tools you know it costs you know x amount of money to actually make the thing and then there's the effort that one puts into it and uh, It's cheap at ten times the price, in my opinion. When I discovered how much he charges for these, I was blown away. You know, uh, I'm not rich, and I would save up my money to buy one if he hadn't sent me one. Jeez, <laughs> um, oh, I cannot recommend these mirrors highly enough. And so this is my personal endorsement for Lucas and his making of mirrors. Um, yeah. So I, I encourage you, uh, uh, those of you who are, well, he makes different grades of mirrors, basically. He has an alchemical mirror, a mirror that is devoted to um, alchemy, and learning and, and performing alchemy. Um, one that is purely astral, lower astral, if you will, um, uh, like uh, communicating with the beings of the elements or the zone girdling the earth, this kind of work. And then there is the astral theurgical, which is the... the beings of the higher planes and then there is you know a purely theurgical uh for dealing with uh, excuse me uh god forms etc so you know <clears throat> depending on where you are in initiation in hermetics or whatever approach you've taken to hermetics, wherever you are in your hermetic evolution, uh, beyond a certain point, um, these magical mirrors will, will be very helpful. If you are uh, working with the uh, beings of the elements or with the uh, zone girdling the earth, then, you know, the um, uh, astral mirror would be perfect for you and be very helpful, I'm sure. Um, and working with the higher spheres, um, this mirror, the astral theurgical, is the way to go. It's very, very helpful and would, you know, speed up, so to speak, your evolution in that process. 
So that's it for me. Bye-bye.